What's up, guys? So, while I was sitting there doing my haywire twist and I was going after it, started to have a little pain there and, you know, the wire started splitting my, my finger right there. Now, uh, I started thinking, I was like, man, I was like, I wish I had a tool and I was like, oh yeah. One of our YouTubers, Mr. C. Bayless, had already sent me this tool a while back, but I hadn't had a chance to actually use it because <laughs> I hadn't had a chance to need wire forms for our Kingfish rigs. Now, so with this system, it came with the uh, two Allen wrenches. However, one works for, and while I was sitting here and playing with this, I figured out that the Allen wrench works for this system here, and that's so that way you can use the different size forms and to lock them into place. However, it's not used for the, the handle here, and what I mean by that is right here. You loosen that, and you can just, basically you can disassemble the whole thing so it can basically be interchangeable parts or replaceable parts. And that's what I kind of figured out already. So what this does right here is the wire goes in and it makes your circle so that way it can go onto this hoop or hook right here. And this will allow for you to set up your framework right here to start the twist. Got a, got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller, the whole team Alright, so to start the twist there Now, what you'll also see is On these, there's different sizes They got a size 2, size 4 Size 5 And size 3 So this one's size 1 um, obviously your size 5 is pretty huge right there and then it goes down in different sizes from there so 4, 3, 2, and 1 so since I'm using 130 pound or actually 108 pound test for my kingfish rigs actually that one's 131 actually that's 131 I've got the smallest setting on here and I'm going to see if this will work now granted with this it was a learning curve. I had to play with it a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of show you on your side before I flip it over here to my side. So what I've done is I already kind of kinked up the, uh, where I need it to be for my space on my hook to hook kind of deal. So as you go right up in here, you'll see me bring it over and I'll go over 90% of the, the wire right there and then that creates my hoop there. Now mind you, I already have my hooks already in place on the, uh, the main line here. So I'm gonna slide my next hook over. And it's kind of tricky because like I said, the hook and everything is on here. And I've already discovered that this is made for end of the line kind of deals, not for made in here where you have your leader in there. But you, just, you can work it, it's just a little bit slower. So let me go ahead and get this set up right here show you real quick and then I'm gonna turn it around so I can continue using it the way I need to now the other thing is right here you see this turns that direction that helps you make your straight in portions right here with the wire oh, let me show it to you it's, it's hard to explain I don't know the proper term but this is the way it's gonna end up working out So what I'm doing is I'm turning this little um, nipple here and this is gonna lock my wire into place. So that way I can start my, oh man, it's pretty tight. Let me loosen it up just a little bit. making sure it's not too loose because that's the other thing if you loosen this too much the wire is going to escape from the gap right there Ow. Oh, got that 
you don't want it to be too loose because it's going to come up between there and it's not going to form right. So right in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the way I twisted this. One, two. Oh, I guess it was too tight. Yeah. So I guess I need to use the bigger size because I was using the other size just a second ago and it was working out just fine. But I guess this was too tight. It wasn't allowing the wire to move freely. But it should, should be able to. Maybe I had it too tight. Hi right, guys, so this is the first time that I've ever used this Dubro uh, Series Easy Pro Twist. Um, and, you know, it's learning the different sizes of the wire chucks that are needed for this setup. So, in doing that, I also had to learn, too, um, which direction I needed to put the tag in to be able to make this roll correctly and twist correctly and you know this is definitely a learning curve and you know I thought about you know actually putting it into my work area here but at the same time too I was also learning that because the two stems that come up out of it are real close that I have to be able to rotate my wire through from my whole leader to be able to allow it to do what it's supposed to do and get those twists correctly. So in doing so, it makes me think of other ways this item can be improved for future use for me because, you know, building all these leaders, I don't like it when my leaders are flying around like that because of the hooks and stuff like that. But I definitely can see how the improvement of the haywire twist is a little bit easier on me and my speed as well as on my hands too because i mean yes i got very calloused hands from working with wire and working with the lead and stuff like that but when you ain't done wire in a while and you go back to doing that it takes a little bit of callous build up before you can get you know to where you don't have to worry about it anymore and i haven't built them since last season so this will be the start of this season's leader building session which i definitely need to get on and i need to get stocked up I've got plenty of the Pro Series slide line rigs, but now I need to get these free line rigs set up so that way when our stores place their orders, we'll have plenty in stock. So we'll keep working it here. And like I said, it, it's been a learning curve and I had to turn it my way to be able to work it properly so I can get the twist right. So this ain't working. I'm gonna go back to the size two because I've already did a few of them with the size one and I was getting it all right. Like I said, I'm learning how to do it on this, but it is still giving me my twist and then my main um, winder valve there. So let's, let's get this reset. All right guys, so right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do set up to change out the different bit right here. So that way I can get um, a bigger sized uh, gap for my piano wire. Cause I've already busted off on the 108 pounds twice on this one. This was the size one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to the size two and we will continue on from there. And this is how easy it is. Taking your Allen wrench right there. I don't tell you. It'll loosen right up, and actually the two that were in the package weren't the right size, so I had to find one of the smaller ones that I had laying around to get this part to come off. And basically it slips right up, put the size 2 on, and you will be good to go when you find it. Yep, there you go. And yes, I'm overriding this because I need to go and I have to get into a, a thought process because this was a bit of troubleshooting since I did watch a couple of videos, but none of them really explained the different sizes of what you needed to do in order to make this work. They just showed you, okay, this is what you do. You do this, this, and that, and that's it. So, <clears throat> I'm really looking forward into this to ensuring that when I set this up that we fully understand what you're needing to do at each step of the process. And even then, I think I can do a lot better. I'm looking at this video. 
I'm gonna get it posted, but I think I can do a lot better, especially with the camera position and getting it to where I can um, show you what's happening up close and from the top view. Because, uh, like I said, this is I don't I don't I don't know. There's something about it I don't I don't like it, but we'll see what's up. And right here, you can see where I have the tag end away from me there. And when I go to twist. I got to watch that spin of the hook as well as my leader. I got to feed it through as I'm twisting this. And this is why I was saying at the beginning of the video that I need to set this up to where I can um, slip the leader through a lot easier instead of trying to guide it through that one. I should be able to throw it like over and it just fall, fall right through. So I'm looking at a different kind of setup to where those two um, pylons are the stands for it are a lot longer i'm thinking maybe a foot and a half two foot and you know i might need a whole different kind of jig set up to make this a faster setup because right now you know doing it the way i have to do it it's extremely slow on that sense and you know I'm, i've got to look at time and how much time i invest into fighting something or hey, is there another way to make it easier so we'll definitely keep an eye on this and Obviously, you know, it's my first day playing with this, so I'm going to find a lot of ways to make it faster or easier for myself, but also, too, to, I got to be able to turn around and teach my guys how to do this, because this is going to guarantee that I don't have to do no more haywire twist. I'm kind of excited, because the haywire twist is a pretty tough knot to, to learn and form correctly, especially with dealing with wire. Um... You know, I'm very particular in it, but at the same time, too, yeah, like right here, you know, this this simple thing of feeding the, the leader through and prepping it for the twist that I have to do is, is something else. And then I also have to ensure I'm twisting on the right side with my hook or my swivel or my loop that is in place and needs to be in place in that loop. So, yeah. All right guys, so I'm doing this and I'm kind of getting the hang now that I'm going through it a little bit more, I'm getting a little quicker on it. Um, but still, it's it's a process, but my hands don't hurt as much as it would have been. I mean, like I said, I mean, I already had ripped that already and I was maybe 10, 
10 or 12 of the kingfish rigs in there. So, you know, I've got four in the green now, one of the glitter, and then, yeah. So, let's see how, how much further I can go. I mean, obviously I gotta keep going until I finish all of this, but, uh, yeah. It's definitely it's different, you know, cause you gotta pull everything through and keep working it like that, but I'll keep, uh, Keep putting them in there and see how it works out. So, yep. Yeah.